guys, today we got another fan pack in. This came in eBay. Um, we were expecting it on um, from uh, the m Monday, but it came today. It's a memo book. It's a lot smaller than I expected. You should probably turn on the light so you can you can see things. Okay, it's cool now. Okay, so um, yeah, look at that. Look how cool it is. It's really small. We weren't expecting the smallness. We found this on eBay. It was like 15 bucks and two dollars shipping. That might seem expensive, but all the other memo books that have sold like this. They were like over a hundred dollars, so this is like really cool. Um, yeah, also speaking of Senpai, we made this paper doll out of foam core. Yeah, remember from that Twin Tails episode 29? He was in it, and now you can see him up close. I didn't really get to see him up close last time. He's 13 and a half inches. Here's the memo book. That's how small he is. Okay, so, um, let's just carefully open it. We want to see if there's any, like, magical secrets inside, because we only saw the inside cover and then the back cover, and yeah, we didn't see if there were any magical secrets, like any, um, stuff written inside in one of the random pages. That could happen. It could happen. Um, uh, okay, is that a slogan for something? I don't know if that's a slogan or like what. And these were, these memo books were presented like at his tours and they were given out at the tours um, that he did. I seriously hope that he, um, he touched it. Like he touched one of these. I hope he personally gave these out. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's cool. This back. Weather bird shoes. Best for boys, best for girls, best for senpai. And there's a stamp. It's Peter's Shoes. That's the place he did. Um, yeah. Look at that. There's the inside. Whoa. The inside. Let's get a close-up of that so you can read this. Okay, is this, like, good enough? Can you see that? You can probably see that. Should we read this? We're gonna read this, okay. Um, okay, we're gonna read this. It's kinda small to see. Okay, here's what it says. Senpai of Alton. We're not gonna save names, Senpai. Um, at birth, February 22nd, 1918. Senpai was normal in every way, weighing eight and a half pounds. At six months, he weighed 30 pounds, and signs of abnormal physical growth were apparent. Today, Senpai weighs 485 pounds. If it Feet eight and a half inches tall, and doctors who attend him regularly for science sake believe that he will eventually attain the unbelievable height of ten feet. He actually attained the height of eight foot eleven point one, so that's you kind of not that close, doctors. Um, senpai's feet are perhaps one of the most interesting things about him. I guess. Um, they are, of course, in proportion to the rest of his body, unusually large. Early in life, Senpai's feet began to cause him much concern, for feet began, nah, for ordinary shoes, be and ordinary shoemakers just wouldn't do. However, it was not until 1928 that Mr. Wadlow, his dad, Harold, um, decided to appeal for help to one of the largest and most progressive shoe manufacturers in the country, the Peter Shoe Company, uh, Peter Shoe Company of St. Louis. When Senpai came to us, his feet were carefully measured and fitted in specially constructed size 26 shoes. He has been wearing Peter's shoes ever since. His present shoes are size 37, the largest shoes made for the human foot. It's in all caps, we're gonna yell for that. Um, each shoe is 19 inches long and weighs 4 pounds. Had Senpai's shoes been properly fitted in his youth, he would no doubt have been as spry on his feet today as any average boy. In spite of his normal size, the mistake of those early years of poorly fitted shoes cannot now be entirely overcome even by the best shoemakers in the country. Peter's shoes and stamped. 7-15-38. That's what it says, just in case you thought we weren't we're making it up. There's Senpai. Let's see what's inside. It looks like graph paper. Is there any magicalness here to be had? There's like no signature on it. What? Bent paper! <gasps> okay. Oh, look at that. What is this? An ad for shoes. Um, it says, where you going, bossy? 
I'm on my way to Peter's shoes. They're all weather. Wait, so the cow's getting shoes? Or is the guy getting shoes? It doesn't make sense. No wonder Bossy is smiling. She knows it's a real compliment to be selected for Peter's shoes because only the finest leather is used in their construction. This is a Peter's shoe for every member of the family. Dress your family more fashionably and more, econ and more economically. Get Peter's shoes. Just one of the many reasons for always buying Peter's shoes. And yeah, buy our toys. That's basically what this is, but it's buy our shoes. So there's no like hidden surprises in here. Yeah, there's like no, it's just blank. But there is a stamp on there. It's pretty cool. We're so glad to get this rare piece of Senpai memorabilia. This is the only thing we have that was made while he was still around. He was 21. Is that what it says in the book? Um, it doesn't say his age, but he was 20 years old. Yeah. It's awesome. So, um, yeah, that was... Let's put this with the collection. We're gonna go put this... This is the stand. This is a smartphone stand. We're just putting it in here. Okay, never mind. Here's the collection. Let's put it right there. It's wonderful and magical. So that was our review of the Senpai Big Boy Memo Book. He is sure a big boy. Um, if you want to buy this, you can't buy it. You can probably find it on eBay for a hundred bucks, but, you know. Um, yeah. Um, if you want to see more Senpai videos or any other videos by us, you can comment, like, subscribe to our channel. We want to get to 400 subscribers by the end of the year, and we have three more people that should subscribe, so, yeah, let's make that go happen. You can also follow us on Instagram, DeviantArt, and Tumblr. We post Senpai stuff on all of those, and yeah, we'll see you later. Sub-chan, goodbye.